Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Julian. I'm here to do my reaction video for episode 9 of season 3 of Shameless. I'm excited to continue watching. This is, has been truly, truly amazing. A lot of character development, a lot of crazy things, you know, a lot of emotional moments. Everything is going on at the same time and I am loving every second of it. So I'm excited, like I said, to continue watching uh, uh, this amazing show. Hope you guys are excited as well to continue watching me react to Shameless. So please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up when you watch this on YouTube. Subscribe for more. Comment on the comment section down below all your thoughts about this episode. Also, if you want to support my channel, support these reaction videos and get amazing perks, you can go to Patreon and get amazing, like I said, amazing perks like early access, uncut reactions, blooper reactions, movie reactions, and a bunch of other things that I cannot post here on my YouTube channel. And soon, there's something very, very interesting coming that I'm pretty sure everyone is going to like. So it's a surprise, but... I'm working on it. I'm working on it. So, yeah. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoy. I hope that you guys continue supporting. And that's it. Without further ado, let's just begin with Season 3, Episode 9 of Shameless. some stuff here that My I need. Queen. Yeah, yeah, go take it. Don't never come back to this bitch. Is it wrong if I just leave for school? Yeah, Where? just get out. Just get out. He's he's the worst. Oh, right. I mean, the worst with Mandy. That's what I meant. <laughs> what the fuck is this? The most stable relationship he has he had in a while. <laughs> oh! <laughs> you cook for me, clean for me, shop for me. That makes us family. It's this Frank, bitch. I'm touched. Our do. No. That is heterophobia. There's and no I such a thing as heterophobia, sweetheart. The squeaky wheel. Fucking Frank. If he if he can take advantage of any situation, he will do it. Even if it's not right. Say no. Say no. She's a skanky, manipulative bitch. She truly is. You should unfriend her. No. No, wait. This is perfect. Where honestly, honestly, if after all the shit Karen has done to him and he's able to forgive her and to fuck her again, this shouldn't be a problem. This shows that she cares. This shows that she wants something more from him. This. Used to do the same I'm hormonal bullshit. Nope. No. Yes, he does. Do what? Not. Remember when you broke somebody cut off the tip of his penis when he was too young to defend him? <laughs> Don't start that shit. What are we talking about? And you want your kid to get a share ahead, right? Thank you. You're not supposed to do that, right? Or not? I'm fine. She misses Jaime. Um, and realize how much of an evil daughter too. she has. Yes. Really? No. And do you get why I have a problem with this? Uh, no. Why are you being such a dick about this? Yeah, because he is a dick. Pages long to and she did it on her own. Walk the fuck away. Just, just, you know what, Mandy? Just kick her ass. Seriously. One time, it won't hurt. How oh, you're... What? Not in charge of it. Fuck off. Fuck up. Seriously, dude. I think he's right. I'm marrying some whore he knocked up. What? Men Wait. Are weak and what? My Mickey? I'm gonna be a grandmother, but like, what? What, Mandy? You cannot throw information like that, sweetheart. Stupid. Even so, I'm the fluffer in there. The happy ending. Something like that. Sorry, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I have a lot of brothers. That's my civil right. <laughs> Let's go. Hi, this is Fiona Fucking from Worldwide Frank. Cup. We've noticed that you have a, a real seedy dude. Looked like he was casing the joint. Oh my god, what the hell are you package. doing? I got so fed up. Eat Josephine. Really nice. <laughs> they call and complain, they'll switch him out for you. But either way, they'll want to hear about it. Great. Yes, I will transfer you now. <laughs> Good luck. <clears throat> hey, she made a sale. 
Hey, they have sorry. It won't happen again. It worked. Shut up, it worked. And you were too young to defend yourself. I just don't <laughs> know what Do you know how expensive a kid is? Hey Pink. Hey, can you pop over to the house and see if Debbie's I love it that. You cannot believe like I always like just minding my own business and bang. A titty. I love this show. There? I don't know if she Promise! Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Weird promises, but yes, do it. Jesus. Oh, oh my, my god. <sighs> don't you turn your back on me. But don't you worry. <laughs> He's good at protesting. I'm you have to city. keep him that. My I'm a citizen. Oh shit. Where are my equal rights? If how we turn out is all about how our mother is, then I'm pretty screwed, right? Yeah, that is true. She's just a selfish person. <laughs> what the f- is he like a nympho or something? She applied to colleges for you. Oh, so she cares! Why do you give a shit? Wait, did I miss something? Man that doesn't know about him and Mickey? It's because of the window, Fiona. <laughs> so that girls would be more likely to wanna, but I uh, <laughs> them out. And not on the baby, right. of course. I mean, yeah. when it's easy. <laughs> Find a way to participate in this conversation. <laughs> be vulnerable to a lawsuit. <laughs> I would like to say that I am willingness to. <clears throat> <laughs> this is awkward. Oh. I can't say anything really. I've said too much already. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Please don't. You have a reputation as a hard ass? No. no. I really want one, though. <laughs> oh, he's cute. <laughs> She's so good. I love her so much. I love her so much. It's unlikely you could have gotten in anyway. <laughs> Reverse psychology. Yes. Let me guess, you minor. Jesus, give me a fucking pen. It worked. Convinced her last year that I'm not gay. It's <laughs> Why would you do this? Why, Frank? You're famous for being gay, Frank. <laughs> Are you gay? I am not. Mom. 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 Dude, I'm telling you, this is my car. So this is like foul money, bitch. <laughs> Whoa. You're an idiot. Well, but you still steal scars, so... I cannot and will never feel bad for him. For Jimmy Steve. I would really love to, like, get into Lip's head. And understand him. That's such a, such, like, a lot of potential. What would you want to study at MIT? He wants to make things. Not follow someone else's. Right? And he's just modifying algorithms. He wants to do something else. That's good. Fits him. C3PO, huh? It fits the lip. Go against... That dude's a badass. Go against, you know, the flow. Go, you know, do his own thing. You know, he's fluent in over six million forms of communication. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> the worst day in his life. And let us buy you a drink. <laughs> My god, he's really you know going to I'm a gay club. Unless you ask me to. Bitch! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> this fucking leech. He's an alcoholic. He needs that. Thank you. Tell her. Say thank you. You, um... You plagiarized Nelson Mandela. For well, you. <laughs> the MIT application. A little bit nicer about it. You know, you might even My want to child. say thank you. Yeah. Say thank you. Thank you. Okay, well, I wasn't expecting this, but yeah. Really? Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Just Father, I'm a decent. Big fan. We'll do. 
<laughs> I love truth, that. What's true? So walk. Think. I hate this because it's like I don't know, it makes it makes it feel like so denigrating for Fiona. Like you're you're only gonna have misery and like this life. And like it's just awful to think. He doesn't get half a college education. He steals cars. He's not a cash at all. All he does is illegal shit. Okay, at a bigger, bigger scale than the Gallagher's when they do some things. But he's not a cash, okay? And and to think that, to for him to say, oh, yeah, a rich kid because he steals things. He might have been a rich kid when he was growing up, but he's not anymore. You know, he steals things. He, he scams. He, you know, he's in the mess that he is because of his own doing. And to say, oh, you're going to live a miserable life. No, if you are... Like, look at Fiona. She works her ass off. She works a job. She has a job. She lives her life honorable and, like, you know, honest way. You know? Not like him. You know? So, this whole thing, I hope, I hope this is leading to him fucking leaving. Because Fiona deserves so much better than this piece of shit. This time I'll not follow you. No one's ever been as good to me as you have. This is good? Oh, Mandy. You're better than this neighborhood. He is! He truly is! And you deserve to get out. She- see? This is the opposite of what caring is. She's not selfish. She is- she truly cares about him. So what you deserve- take me with you, it's- See? I really thought you would, anyway. My child. She's such a good person despite everything that has happened to her. My ch my other my other child, look at you. Gonna be a daddy, what the hell do you do? Is it is it is it though from the time he fucked that lady? Cause if it was, oh god damn it. My poor Mickey. She's getting out of us and uh she's gonna get married, no He got raped. Nothing. Go ahead! Do it! Oh no, Mickey, Mickey. He only knows how to react like this. You love me. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Oh boy. Mickey, Mickey. Mickey. Feel better now. Feel like a man. <gasps> Mickey! You're not serious. Yes, he is. I hope you are. She's good for me. Yes! But you're not. That's good, Lip. That's good, but this bitch is gonna do something, I swear to motherfucking God. <gasps> She's such a piece of shit. She like, you need to be strong. What did she do that's so bad that you won't talk to her? I've been working really hard to treat yeah. her. Yeah. My meds have been really working and True. I am a little crazy, but Who isn't? I'm not bad for that baby. That part not at all, not sweetheart. True. Not she, at all. I've seen bad for kids. Yeah. You aren't either of those things. She's neither of those things. She's super nice. She she truly is. I mean, <laughs> a lot of mistakes. Then say you're sorry. That she was sorry and stayed. Oh. I'd forgive her. I Demi forgive always her makes me cry. Because she's my mom. What a piece of shit she is. If she can't have her way, she will destroy everything around her. <laughs> this fucking bitch. I will survive. Fuck you, Frank. I got all my love to give. I will survive. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> What's an Adam's apple matter if you can blow like that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Well, what if our son wants to be a transsexual? They will need that skin to make him a proper vagina. Why is that even oh a... Oh, my God. Bless the Lord. 
Bless the Lord for Veronica right there. Love her. Question. The my boy, my boy, don't cry, sweetie. Oh, my boy, my sweet boy. I hate, <laughs> fucking hate this bitch. I could have been a better mother to you. You were there, you were loving, you were supporting. In your, in her abilities, in her fucking abilities, Everything that she could, even if it was just inside her house. She was caring, she was supporting, she was there for her to talk whenever she wanted. I hope you can forgive me, Karen. Forgive this bitch! Yeah, I hope we can start over. Okay, I'm sorry, Mom. It's, it's Lev. See, he it's selfish. It's about her. at the park. Please tell Miss Mandy is oh, gonna... Yeah. Are you seeing the began? I hope so. Okay. I hope it's Mandy and she beats the shit out of this bitch. <gasps> okay, I didn't actually mean it. I didn't actually mean it. I didn't actually mean it. Was that Mandy? I didn't actually- I didn't actually mean it. God, I didn't actually mean it. This is a show. Oh my god. Oh my god. I thought- I thought if it was Mandy, Mandy was gonna, you know, be like... Please, I'm not responsible for this, okay? Oh my Chris god. Go away, Frank. <gasps> it was actually her. Where'd you at? Girl at school. <laughs> Don't forget to check for hair behind the grill. <laughs> Supporting oh, poor other. Or the missing piece in our puzzle. <laughs> really? Working class. I okay, guys, that was the end of season three, episode nine of Shameless. Another crazy, crazy ass episode. A lot of things are, you know, coming together uh, for the end of this season. Now, here's the thing. I don't like Karen. I don't like Karen at all. I think she's a selfish person. Uh, always just, you know, thinking about herself. Everything has to be about her at all times. She's just, you know, the worst person. On a show where we have an alcoholic dad who's never around to support his five kids. She's awful. She raped Frank. She's just overall, you know, rejected Jaime, God Jaime away from the mom, all of that. She's a terrible person. I think we can all agree to that. Did she deserve to be run over by Mandy? I mean, I would, when, when she got the text, I thought it was Mandy. And I thought Mandy was gonna, like, scare her or, like... Maybe, maybe, maybe even like fight. I didn't even thought she was gonna run, run her over. Now, no, there is no single violent act that happens against a person that other person's fault because you shouldn't do that. You know, I was saying, you know, a few slaps I will be happy with it you know and I think I don't think anyone will blame Mandy for doing that you know I will also slap the shit out of 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 lip well you know what let's not slap anyone violence doesn't get us anywhere but the thing is I love Mandy I love Mandy I think in this episode up until she all like practically almost killed uh Karen I think she is a good person. Despite everything going wrong in her life, she's able to separate what's good and what's bad. She's able to let her feelings aside and do something good for some someone she truly cares about. Okay? Everything she did, pay for the applications, send the applications, stay up all night doing all these things for lip, Without Lip even knowing, without Lip even caring about it, says a lot about who Mandy is as a person. Okay, she did all of this. Now, Karen is just going at it. 
you know, at Mandy. And Mandy has a troubled life where violence is the answer for everything. That is what she do. That's what her brothers do. That's what her dad does. Everything you you see Mandy's up, upbringing and you see Karen's upbringing, and yes, it must be hard for a kid to deal with a parent that has a mental illness, or being OCD or everything that was going on with Sheila. Like we met her during season one. I understand that. I understand it's hard, you know, and you have to do things for yourself. And, and like, you know, I understand that. I understand that. Okay. But is it Sheila's fault that caring is the way she is? No. Okay. Because she has been in her abilities in, in the best that she could. She has been there for her daughter. She missed few a lot of uh um parent teacher conference conf conferences you know a lot of i don't know dances and things like that where she had to be in public and but who dressed her up who did things for her who put a nice warm meal for her who waited for her up who did all these things that in her possibilities she was able to do it She's a mom, and I think that we women sometimes forget that we are moms, yes, but we are also individuals that need to take care of ourselves. That moment, her medications were off, things were not doing great for her, so of course she had to resource to this type of things. And honest to God, she is the most nurturing, loving, caring, supporting mother on this show. Like, Besides Fiona, you know, because Fiona serves that role for the kids as well. But she is. So, for me, I felt terrible for Sheila. What is happening with Karen? I feel terrible, not for Karen, but for Sheila. You know, I don't find any sympathetic feelings towards uh, 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 Karen. Uh, I do feel like, oh, okay, she might not have deserved that. Uh, did was Mandy wrong for doing this? Of fucking course. Does she feel bad for it? I think she does. But you have to understand, look at the normalcy about all of this. The fact that Mikey comes comes in and he's like, oh, yeah, don't forget about the the hair. Or, yeah, call this guy so the, they can replace the, the shield, the windshield or the, I don't know, you know? It's something, the, the glass, like, the, yeah. So it's something that it's normal for them. It's it's like they are default setting for them. That is what they are supposed to do. It's fucked up, yes, but this is how they have been raised. I'm not excusing her, okay, because what she did is wrong. And if we go by the law, she deserves to be in jail for what she did to Karen, you know? Bitch. And, and crazy and, and, and awful person as she is, this is still a crime. And I'm not going to condone what she did. Okay, I was I was honestly thought oh, she's going to slap the hell out of her. But I didn't, didn't thought she was going to take it that far. Um, I feel awful. I truly feel awful because you guys know how much I love and care about Mandy. So to see her do this and to see her in my opinion, go a lot of steps back. It just makes me feel terrible about her. Now, she did press a lot of buttons, okay? Karen, she was just being uh, extra annoying just so Lip can be with her. And to do what? To be miserable together? To be the Frank? Like, the Monica to his Frank? Like, whatever it is? You know what I mean? Of course he deserves someone better. Someone like Mandy, you know, that when she's not running people over, she's really sweet, okay? Um, but the thing is that even with this, uh, you have to understand the lip has this thing for Karen. He feels for her. I feel like sometimes he feels like he can save this girl, 
that she's not all evil as all of us know she is. That he sees something in her. So this will actually backfire. I don't think now that he's going to MIT unless she dies. And honestly, I don't think even if she dies, he I don't think anything related to Mandy, I don't think he's going to be able to accept it because of what Mandy did to Karen. It's fucked up, you know, it's fucked up the way he thinks. I sometimes will wish to see him... Uh, 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 to see inside of his mind to really understand what he's thinking because I honestly don't and I don't hate uh, Lip at all I just don't understand you know um, but yeah we'll see what happens next with that storyline uh, also we had um, what's his name stupid Jimmy Steve and I'm sorry that I call him that I just I am so dumb with him and I explain it on my reaction the fact that he believes he's some sort of prize for this family, that he's better, or I don't know, it's just I don't like it. Now, if he decides to actually become a decent human being and go and, and, and study and have a decent life, and if this was his wake-up call, then good for him, okay? Good for I don't I don't care. I don't give a fuck, but good for him. Now, he's still asking Fiona to leave and to go with him because I saw the promo. So, what? Now that she's the guardian, you think she's going to go? Or they, she's going to relocate with all the kids to whatever place you are? No, dude, do your own thing, okay? Do you, you know, work in your college thing? Do And, you know, become the better shitty person that you can be, you know? That's it. Now, yeah, I just, I don't, I hope he, and I pray to the Lord that he leaves. Because I don't have time for Jimmy Steve. I just, I, I don't like him. I never will. There's nothing he can do that will make me like him. So, he better just go, okay? Um, then you have Frank with his, with this entire thing about him being gay. Being, he, look... I don't, th Frank is not, not gay, neither is he homophobic, not even because he got a blowjob from a, I don't know who that person was inside, I, I don't know who it was, it, it, I don't know how that person identifies them, himself or herself, okay, I don't know if they, I don't know, so, but that doesn't make him gay, okay? He did say, oh, an apple, Adam's apple is not going to stop me. Like, a blowjob is a blowjob. And, like, <sighs> Frank, you know? But even with all of this, I don't feel like Frank is homophobic. He's just into the whatever uh, uh, situation he can, f sorry, he can think himself in. He's He scams people. He is the easy way. And this comes with, the fact that he's an alcoholic and he will do whatever it takes as long as someone is buying him a drink. That is Frank. We know Frank. That's who he is. Uh, now, what? Oh, what else? What else? Oh, yeah. Okay. The other thing I want to talk about is Mikey getting someone pregnant. Now, the someone, I'm pretty sure, is that girl that actually hurt his dad, made the girl rape him. So if that is it, he's being forced into all of this. He's he's gay. He's, he, he's not even able to say it. It's so hard. I don't think, you know, if you're straight, even, you know, allies, people who really understand you like like really truly support the community without you know they don't they don't care no, not that they don't care about who you sleep no like they are okay with it and they support you and things like that but there's a process and until you like people say oh why are you haven't come out like early in life because now it seems like like young kids find themselves in the early stages of their lives but it, that is great, you know, to be who you are, 
from the moment you realize that you are that. But it is still a process. We all go through that process of understanding our, ourselves, our, of knowing who we are. Uh, and to, one, accept it. Look at yourself in the mirror and say, yes, I'm gay. I'm a lesbian. I'm bisexual. I am trans. You know, it's a process. And you have to accept yourself first, you know? And Mickey doesn't. Mickey has all this, this uh, ideas, all this homophobia emptied in on him. He might like this. Says he. He says, "Oh, it's just you know." He likes it, and like he he doesn't even want to think about it. But for him to understand himself, to love himself, to accept himself, is a fucking process that he's not there. And what happened to him is a traumatic experience. He was happy. He was there with the guy that he loves, even if he doesn't want to say it, you know? And to go through that is as traumatic for any victim. Female, male, it doesn't matter. It's a traumatic thing. And he's going through that. And again, as a result of the upbringing he has, he, how he deals with this? With violence. You know, he, like, uh, and I feel like, you know, Ian, who I, you know, I love my child. Even with that, he, Ian is, he has come out to himself. You know, he knows he's gay. You know, he knows who he is. Uh, and forcing this and telling him and not letting him talk, because I understand that he's also upset, that he's also mad, that he, the love of his life, the guy that he's in love with is going to marry someone else, of course he's going to be pissed about all of this, you know? Uh, but in all this process, we forget what happened to Mickey. Uh, and we are not kind to Mickey to let him explain, to let him talk, to let him beat up a dummy or something so he can let go of everything he has inside, you know? I hope that we get to see more scenes with with Ian and 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 him of them actually talking of I just I just I will want even for one day to Mickey to be able to say it out loud and I don't think he will be able to do it. Not right now. I, I honestly not right now. And what is he going to think about this? You know, about the fact that he uh, 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 is going to get married, that he's going to have a kid. We don't know what's going on in his mind. And that troubles me. And that really, I would love to know, you know. Um, but anyways, one last thing I wanted to talk about, <laughs> Kevin um, Veronica, I'm talking, I have to, kudos to Veronica for actually thinking, hey, our kid might be trans, and eventually he will want to transition to the woman he is, she is, and, you know, he will need the foreskin, <laughs> like, even if it's a crazy conversation, I love that they made that point, I loved it, uh, I, I have heard, I ha I'm a mom of a boy, and I have heard that circ circumcision is a terrible thing, a bad thing, and, and you know, you never should do it. So, I, I, you know, I'm with Veronica in this, in this, uh, in this particular um, subject. Uh, but yeah, also, love it, Fiona doing his, her thing. I love when Fiona has that feeling of, you are, you are good. I love when she has that that feeling that she's good, that she's where she's supposed to be, that she's good, that she can make a living for herself without scamming people. I love it. I honestly loved it. Um, then we have uh, uh, the Sheila, Debbie conversation. God damn it. Debbie has had to grow up so much. In her short years is just truly amazing. She's so compassionate, she has such a much empathy for people like that, and it's just it, it was it was truly amazing. I kind of tear up a little bit. I love them. I love Sheila, Debbie, everyone, minus Jimmy Steve, who we don't stand, and Karen, who oh, poor thing, but. I don't want to I don't want to say anything else. Anyways, that's it guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed my reaction video. Please give it a lot of thumbs up if you love Shameless. Subscribe for more. Comment in the comment section down below all your thoughts about this episode. Also, if you want to watch the full on car reaction video on Patreon, 
go there. The link will be in the description down below and give it a heart once you watch it. And that's it. I will see you guys next time for more reaction videos for Shameless. Mwah. Bye, guys.